This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University and we're talking about word processing. I want you to notice at the top of the document there is a ruler and these are measured in inches. The white area is the uh, area within our document we can type on. The dark area is our margins. Um, I am going to set up a tab at one half an inch and if I, if I click in there, you'll see that I get this little L sign for a left tab. So when I come to my paragraph, and if I want to indent, and I press the tab key, I'm going to go over half an inch. Now you notice that we get an arrow here indicating a tab. What you should not do is you should not use the space bar to, uh, to simulate a tab. In this font, I can space over and I can get pretty close to where that tab is and it doesn't look too bad. And if I turn off my paragraph marking, you can see that um, it looks like, a, looks like a tab. But here's where the problem is. The space bar takes up different amounts of space depending on the font you use and depending on the size of the font. So. If I change the font from 14 to 26, you can see that my first line is still at half an inch. But this one is way over here, almost at an inch. So by using the tab, you're going to get a consistent distance in your paragraph. I will oftentimes, when people turn in word process documents to me, I will click on this uh, the paragraph marks so that I can see if they're using tabs or spaces because tabs really indicate a more professional document and spaces look more, a lot more amateurish because that formatting is not going to stay constant throughout the document. 